Speaking of which, our question of the day is this. What is something that you've gotten, you know, much better at this season? Whether it's something simple like shotgun aim or even rotating, let us know. All right, guys, now on to the video. So if you're still struggling to improve at Fortnite despite a ton of game time, the issue likely sits with your mentality. You know, if you're looking to get better at this game or anything else in life, it's important to be willing to learn from mistakes. Okay, so what we mean is that after every single elimination, you need to look at what you did wrong. You know, you can't just try to deflect the blame into somebody else, dying and blaming it on bad RNG, a weapon being overpowered, or opponents acting recklessly are some of the common ways we see players deflect blame. Now look, like I get that sometimes those factors might have contributed to your death, but there's one thing usually in common with what players like to blame. They're all outside factors beyond your control and don't revolve around how you play. Like if a player pushes you in the storm and you die because of it, blaming the player won't get you anywhere, man. Sure, their psychotic behavior got both of you guys eliminated, but you need to instead think of how you played leading up to that point. Okay, could you have taken another rotation path? Or maybe you should have just been more watchful in spotting potential players. How about rotating early next time? Regardless, the point is, is that you need to be primarily focusing on yourself and in trios, your team's gameplay. Think of it this way, like every death is a learning experience. I say this all the time. So to improve after every lost game, like you have to have that mentality. You need to be able to really take the time and reflect on how you could have played differently for a better outcome. You know, pros do this by reviewing their gameplay with either video recordings or through the in-game replay system. You know, using replays is honestly, man, a fantastic way to look at your gameplay. You can use free cam or even watch from your opponent's perspective to get a better idea of how they reacted to your moves. You know, I guarantee, man, that with each death, each elimination that you review, it shouldn't be hard to really come up with numerous ways that you could have played better. You know, the pro player mentality doesn't only involve critically assessing yourself. You know, another trait pros have is that, you know, they usually don't tilt or get frustrated when it matters. For them, when it matters, typically, means when they're playing scrims or tournaments. For average players looking to improve though, it always matters. <laughs> like if you get tilted at frustrating things in the game, it's only gonna really hinder your ability to review what went wrong from an objective standpoint. Then you're never going to improve. So be critical of yourself, right? Just not necessarily harsh, but just as a way to critique your gameplay. Like if you can recognize you're making mistakes, that leaves a ton of room for improvement. And really, it's a necessary step to becoming a better player. You can do it, believe in yourself. Okay, so are you struggling to break free from the open or contenders division in Fortnite? Well, everybody has the potential to improve. And the best way to push that potential to the max is with the Fortnite coach. Our Fortnite coaches are world-class and are available 24 seven to help you guys improve. So head on over to proguys.com with the link in the description to improve at Fortnite today. All right, bunch of crunch saw me, 